So I might be switching to the iFi Zen Stream from my more expensive streamer, the Inuit Zen Mini Mark III that I have been using for the last two plus years. So why will that be? Now today I wanna to talk to you guys about this without any fancy B-rolls or anything like that because this is a genuine thing that I'm considering and why I'm considering. So I want some of your inputs in the comment section below so give me your thoughts. But before we go any further, I want to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, and that is you guys. You guys have been seriously amazing with the support on this channel recently, and it just, just blows my mind. So as a thank you, I would like to give away the iFi Zen stream to one of the followers on this channel when this video gets 2,000 likes. So let's get to it. Also, in this video, we're not gonna go into the NAS drive capabilities or hard drive capabilities of the streamers because honestly speaking, all streamers these days do that. Both of these devices can do that. It's just a matter of how you do it, whether you have to go through a portal on a website or you can just connect it to the back of the streamer, et cetera, et cetera. It's all listed in the manual. But today we're gonna be focusing solely on the streaming capability because that's what I do mostly when I review gear in here. Now sometimes I play my reel to reel or I play my turntable, which is a MoFi Ultra Deck. But often than not, I would stream because it's convenient and I can switch to multiple different tracks and try out things that people recommend in the comment section and so on and so forth. But so at the end of the day, why would I be switching over to the lesser, less expensive, I should say, streamer when I have the Inuit Zen Mini Mark III that I've been enjoying for years. Well, the iFi Zen Stream is a very simple device, yet you're able to do multiple things that, well, that my more expensive streamer, the Inuit Zen Mini Mark III, cannot exactly do. To give you a reference, the iFi is only about $400, whereas my Zen Mini Mark III is more than three times the price at around $1,400, US which is honestly a big gap in price. But what is funny is that while the Inuit Zen Mini Mark III has functions that I love, like being able to rip a CD or being able to be a rune core, now that's one of the biggest reasons I bought the Elonus Zen Mini Mark III is because it is able to be a rune core. A lot of units out there are rune endpoints, which is entirely different from being a rune core. Now if you're not a rune user and you have no idea what rune is, rune is an app and that's what I'm talking about. It's a software that essentially ties everything together so that it's easy for you to stream music and so on and so forth. But if you're not worried about rune, and you don't want Rune, you know, some people like me swear by the sound quality of Rune, but some people may be like, you know, I don't care about that. I don't care about how good Rune sounds. You know, I want just something that's easy. And that's kind of what the iFi Zen is. It has Tidal Connect, which the Inuit does not. And most importantly, I don't need any cables. I don't need any ethernet cables to connect it to my modem and stuff like that because my modem is quite far away from where my streamers are. Therefore, I have to run really long lengths. It's ideal if you don't have any cables and it's all Wi-Fi. I mean, we're in 2022, by the way, so it makes sense. Now, the iFi is Wi-Fi. You don't need Ethernet and it connects flawlessly as far as I've tested. Whereas the more expensive streamer that I have, the Inuit Zen Mini Mark III, does not. So these are one of the things that frustrates me is even though you're paying more for better sound quality, you're not necessarily getting more function, more usability when it comes to streamers. And that's so weird because streamers, you think like the first thing that comes to mind is like how easy it is to use. I mean, if I was caring about only sound quality, I would be using my reel-to-reel -reel and turntable all the time. It only makes sense that the focus should be on features when it comes to streamers. And that should be the first thing and then sound quality. Now, I'm not knocking on Inuit as much as you think I am, or I wouldn't have bought it in the first place. The Inuit is an extremely good device, and I've been using it for a very long time for a reason. And one of the very first reasons is, again, feature. It has a CD ripper, like I said, but most importantly, most importantly, it's the rune core. And number three, and I think this one is the most important, it has a USB connection so that I can connect via USB to my DAC or my integrated amplifier with a DAC inside. Now you may be thinking, what's the big deal, man? Why, why is that hard? Well, I know, I don't know why it's hard, but at the time, nowadays there's more streamers with USB connection, 
but at the time there wasn't much like it was so hard to find a streamer at the time and we're talking about about three years ago with a usb connection and you know you're gonna bring up raspberry pi and all that stuff but that's something you have to build i'm talking about something a little bit more higher end something a little bit easier to use that's a rune core you know rune ready you know dlna nas drive and all that stuff so we're talking about finished product here right so raspberry pi yes usb but again raspberry pi usb is not the best in my opinion it doesn't sound very good now when it comes to usb only strictly talking about usb and again you might be asking if you're a beginner to this why would you want usb just use coax man or optical well it's because usb gives you the highest resolution possible and you may or may not care about that i use coax if you know if usb isn't available but it's nice to have usb because most dax operate best with a usb giving you the highest resolution possible outside of i squared s or you know that's a different topic for another day so at the end of the day what i'm trying to say is that in my opinion it is easier for me to use the zen stream why because instead of connecting to rune and then going through title i can just do title connect meaning i can just open up my title and connect it directly to my hi-fi system without any third-party software and in fact they have multiple compatible apps like j river and so on and so forth i'll put a list here somewhere it's a lot it's a lot so not only is it more compatible with all these apps and so on but it's easy to connect to your hi-fi system just like this instead of going through any third-party software if you're a beginner and if you're new to all this it's just a headache to do all that setting up of rune and so on and so forth now if my friend comes over here another example is if he wants to play his music i have to give him my phone or my tablet that has my rune app installed he can't just open up his rune even if he has the app installed he can't just open up his rune and then connect it to my system and play his music from his you know phone he can't do that so that's very inconvenient because i don't want to give my friend my phone because i need to use it sometimes while he's listening for example and this goes the same way if you have a family member if you want to, them to use it as well then you're gonna have to have a tablet dedicated to just rune it's not like your wife your son your daughter can have all rune installed and then just play off their phone whenever they want to no it doesn't work that way whereas with for example title connect anyone can connect it directly with from their account from someone else's account it doesn't matter as long as you're in the proximity of the unit and you're able to connect it through title connect you're able to play your music to your sound system so it's extremely easy fast and quick way to rock on and that is just great that is what i want in a streamer the convenience and that's why despite the a little bit of a lower quality sound of blue sound devices I actually loved it because of the convenience factor and honestly the sound has come a far way with blue sound devices like the Note 2i is an extre extremely good example but this is a step above that now I wouldn't be even talking about this and I would rather be comparing it to blue sound if this was on the same level but it's not it's actually the sound quality is on the level of the Inuis yeah it's three times the price but it's at the level of the Inuis and if you think that you know i5 paid me to say this they didn't i don't get to keep this unit but now that i think about it i think they should sponsor my channel by giving me an i5 zen stream that i can give away to you guys i5 jokes aside if they don't i will just buy one and give it away anyways when this video reaches 2000 likes but will i be fully switching over to the i5 zen stream from my inuis and you know it's three times the price so it doesn't make sense i can probably buy two of the iFi um, if i sell my inuis at a discount in the used market logically thinking in my opinion no and i'll, I'll, give, I'll give you my reasoning as to why but comment down below what you would suggest so the reason i won't is because i actually have cds that i like to rip and then i have it on rune now if i were to get rid of the inuis then i lose 
that capability and I will no longer have an option to have every music that I have on CD, you know, streaming, etc., NAS drives and stuff all in one software. So this is exactly when you would want something like the Inuis instead of the Zen if you want a Rune Core that has a USB that is a CD ripper. That's it. Now again, another thing about the Inuit Zen Mini Mark III specifically is that it also has an internal DAC. But we're not talking about that. We're not talking about that because while it has somewhat of a decent DAC inside, I still prefer using external DACs. So we're talking about both as just a streamer. So I have two options essentially here. One is to use my computer or a laptop as a Rune Core and then use the iFi as a Rune device because it's also Rune ready, but it's not a Rune Core, which means that you still need a device to be a Rune Core. And if you don't understand that what that is, don't worry about it. This video is not dedicate, dedicated to understanding Rune, um, but you need to have a laptop or a computer as a Rune Core if you're using the Zen Stream to be a Rune ready player. So essentially it's confusing and at the same time, you need two devices. So that's a no-go. If I'm gonna play Rune, then the Inuit is the answer. If I want convenience to just play music without any third-party software, just for streaming, then the Zen Stream is the answer. That is the simplest form I can put this together. So for Rune, I would pick the Inuit any other day uh, despite the pricing. And I know, I just know that some of you are gonna comment and be like, well, you can program a Raspberry Pi and a Volumio. We're talking about a finished product that does not need any type of finessing. That's the topic of this video. DIY, you know, finessing, we'll talk about it in a, another video, right? I'm not, I'm not dismissing the point that you can get that. It's that not all of us want to do that. A lot of us are not techy enough or they just want a finished product that does everything. And unfortunately, a combination of the Inuit with the iFi would be perfect in this case. If the iFi was a Rune Core, it would solve all my issues. Well, and, and a CD Ripper, but maybe that's asking, asking for too much. But at the end of the day, you have to choose one or the other. In my opinion, I think the answer is that I would keep the Inuit in my main listening room, but have the iFi as a Rune ready unit upstairs. Why do I say this? Well, because it's easy to change to Tidal Connect if I were to ever have someone over and they want to play their music, it's easy to just switch over to the Tidal Connect because there's little dip switches in the back that you just turn and you have went from Rune ready device to Tidal Connect and now your friend can stream in your other system. So if you have multiple systems, then you can add the iFi to your Rune Core as well. And why is this such a big deal to have physical dips that you can switch over to, you may ask? Well, because it's quick and it's physical. You can just go, eh, eh, you know, I can use my fingernail or coin or whatever, small unit, I can have it beside, whatever it is. It's easy. Whereas when it comes to other streamers that I have encountered in the past, including the Inuit, you have to go to the physical app like or a website or punch in your IP address onto your browser, or do all sorts of gimmicky things, not gimmicky things, it's just, it's just quirky things, I should say. It's a quirky thing where you have to go to this website and all that, and then you have to go to the settings and then switch over from Rune Core, Rune Ready to like DLNA. So to switch over and change the mode of what the capability of the streamer actually is, is more complex to do on other streamers, takes more time, takes more finessing. Whereas on the iFi, it's not the greatest, it's still a small dip switch instead of a button that you can press. Free idea right there, amazing idea. Or a remote, small remote that shows you all the options and you go click, click, click. So essentially, I don't think I'm ready to switch over from the Inuit to the iFi because it's not a Rune Core and because I'm a Rune player. But if I were only about just playing and streaming Tidal or Spotify, then the iFi would be the answer for me because it's less complex, it's easy, and the sound quality is on par. 
It's only when you get more complex and want every music source in one you know, single app like Rune, that's when it makes sense to get the Inuits in my opinion as a Rune core. So that's my opinion. For you people out there, let me know in the comment section, what should I do? Do you think that makes sense to keep the Inuits for my main system and then have the i5 for my other systems upstairs so that I can you know, have everything integrated into one and then it also be easy to switch over. So that's pretty much it. This was a more of a discussion thing. It's not a full review. It's more, I want to hear what you guys have to say as how you're streaming and what has been working for you as well as, you know, what should I do, right? Looking at these two devices. And if you were to choose, which one would you choose? If you had only one system or two systems and so on, let me know in the comment section. Let's start this discussion about streaming and how we can make it as convenient as possible for our mental health. <laughs> Because honestly, I am drinking right now um, an espresso out of a teacup and I don't know what I'm doing. Functionality, baby. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.